Hi beauties, welcome back. Today, we're doing a, an unboxing. There's two boxes from the same company because I don't know what they have happened. But for some reason, I told you guys about the mishap that happened in January with my Glow Addict where they didn't send, they changed over their system, didn't send out the people who had prepaid for a year. They didn't send them out their boxes. So I didn't get mine until like the beginning of February. It took forever. Then my February box was like MIA. I was like, where it said it like shipped and then it didn't ship. And then I was like, what the fuck? And then it showed up like the last day of February and then the March box showed up like two days later. So what I decided to do, because it was a nightmare, um, I'm gonna unbox both of them today. We got both of them. I got a little one and I got a big one. That sounded like something broke when I picked it up, but we'll hope for the best. Um, I honestly don't know which is which. I do follow Glow Addict on Instagram, but I really haven't been on Instagram recently. So I haven't really seen them post about it. I'm hoping I can kind of guess like which one would be probably more of like a Valentine's Day themed and which one would be more of like, a, I don't know, like a St. Patrick's Day themed. I don't know. Springtime themed. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to start with a smaller one just because it's the one that's right in front of my face and we'll just see. It'll be like a fun game. Like, can I guess which was which? I'm pulling everything out. We're going to take a look at it one by one. So first thing we have is really pretty lashes. They look, these are interesting. They're lashes. I was trying to figure them. I was trying to read it. Oh, they are magnetic. How do they work though? So they're magnetic lashes, but it doesn't look like it. I, I gotta figure out if it comes with like, cause normally it comes with like an eyeliner or something that gives you like the magnet to it, but it doesn't look like that. It like. <coughs> <coughs> I hate, I hate allergies so much. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know the it's, like, how does it stick to my eye is what I'm trying. I'm trying to figure this out. Cause like, obviously my eye is not magnetic. Did it work? Beautiful. Um, yeah, I don't know. Cause like in the package, it's got like a little magnetic strip. Like you can see there's like a little magnetic strip right here. So I don't know if you just have to buy, you just go out and buy some, did it come with it? Oh, oh, it did. They're packaged separately. I'm an idiot. Okay, it's fine. So it, it, does, it does come with the little magnetic. Yeah, super strength magnetic liner. I've gotten a couple magnetic lashes so far. I'm scared to try them. I don't know why, I just am. I feel like it's a great concept, but I also feel like like maybe one day, maybe one day they might like relate it back to like eyeball cancer and then I'm gonna be like, oh my God. I knew it. I knew there was something off about it. You can't trust magnets. How do they work? Yeah, interesting concept. Definitely, I will definitely try it. I just am like, I'm still hesitant. I'm not there yet. Next thing we got is a lip perfection pencil from B Bella. I believe we've gotten uh, palettes from B Bella in the past through Glow Addict. Um, but this looks like a pretty color, pretty like neutral color. It looks like kind of corally. Yeah, you can definitely see it's like a really nice coral color. The pencil seems to, it's like an actual pencil. Like, you know, sometimes it's a gel pencil. This is actually like, a, it looks like a pencil. Um, like when you would sharpen when you were in like fifth grade. It has a really creamy formula, really nice. So yeah, I think that's gonna be a cute little product. I don't really use lip liners a lot, but I do, I like I like them, if that makes sense. Like I just don't use them very often because I don't have a ton of them, but it's not that I have anything against them, so. Oh, cute. So this is an All Eyes On Me brush set from Molly Jacob. Uh, you get four cute little brushes. It looks like a lot of them are kind of like uh, different styles of like a tapered blending brush, which is truthfully what I normally use anyway. So you get one angled brush. It's very aggressively angled. Like it's, it's a big brush. Normally for angled brushes, they're a little bit smaller. This one says, no, not me. And then you get, you get all these, you get a lot. You get a big variety of them. So yeah, cute, love it. I, you guys know, I love brushes. You send me any brush and I'm gonna make it happen because, oh. I think, I guess I just subconsciously like read that and said, I'm gonna say that out loud because they each have um, name, each of the brushes have names and one of them is make it happen. Make it happen, good vibes, this is me, eyes on me. Love it, I love I love having backup brushes. So yes, great, great to always have it. as many as I possibly can get my hands on at this point. The last thing we have here is an Illuminati times ISA and it is a glam palette designed by Isabel Bedoya. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to know who that is, but I don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I don't. But it's a really cute cover. I'm liking that. <gasps> Love. Oh, it's precious. I like that. 
very much rainbow vibes like it definitely gives you like one of each color and then you get a lot of good glitter shades and you get like a nice white and a nice black i think there's a lot you can do with this got purple haze purple dream love it cute cute all right so i'm i'm gonna if i guess if i had to guess i'm gonna say that was probably february's box and the big one is probably gonna be march's but i don't know i don't know <laughs> your guess is as good as mine all right let's see what do we got what do we got I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. So the first thing we have is a Derma E scar gel. Scoop a small amount and gently massage on the skin for new scars. Apply two to three times daily for eight weeks. For older scars, apply twice daily for three to six months. Really interesting. Not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but not that. I'm interested. I wonder if it works. Like I have like stretch marks, um, like on my legs and stuff. I wonder if it would work on stretch marks too. It's very tiny though, so there's like a lot, so. I don't know. I'm just, I can't get over it. It's, I feel like that's, it's not a bad thing to throw in a subscription box. It's just a weird thing, right? Am I overthinking this? I don't know, whatever. Interesting. Definitely not something I've seen in any other subscription box, so good on them for doing something different. I'm gonna come back to that because that just caused me stress dropping it. We got another brush set. This one is from Celeve. And this one comes with six brushes. We just talked about how I like having backup brushes. So I'm not gonna pull those out. This is like the seventh video we filmed today. So, all right, I'm ripping the box. I don't care, I don't care. This is the shade Darling. This is the Cara Beauty lipstick. I think it's a lipstick. It's a lip gloss, lip gloss. It's probably a matte lip gloss. It looks like it actually would match this very nicely. The lip pencil that we got in the other box looks like it would be a really good duo, so. All right, next thing we got, this is a 3D massager facelift promotes skin tightening. So it's like one of the beauty tools that you see. I'm gonna be really honest. This feels really cheap. <laughs> so it's so, so mean to say, but I've gotten a lot of skin tools in boxes, um, you know, different like jade rollers. I've gotten, you know, the face stones where the, this is just like, feels like a really cheap plastic. So like in theory, this would be a good idea, but I just feel like maybe it could have been executed better. I don't know. That sounds so mean, but I just, I'm not a big fan of this. And then the last thing we have is a little uh, eyeshadow quad from Illuminati Cosmetics. I think they've sent us an eyeshadow quad from Illuminati in the past, but they're all like little glitter shades, kind of corally, kind of goes along with the lip gloss vibe. The little box I was a big fan of. The big box I don't like at all. I feel like that was a waste of money. Does that mean a little bit? Yeah, but I, yeah. All of my favorite products came from the other box, so weird. I wasn't meaning to compare them, but it's like really like, oh, that month was good and this month was rough. Here's how I'm feeling about Glow Addict. I've been really thinking about it because my year subscription's almost up. I think I did it in June. So we're looking at like, maybe I have two more months on it and then I will be charged like $250 to keep it for the next year. I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I had months where I got like cute stuff, good stuff. Has it changed my world? No, no, it really hasn't. And when you think about it, it's basically the same price as BoxyCharm and Ipsy. And I understand it's, I was definitely trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. And I've been, I've defended them a lot for different things because they are much smaller. And so they're not gonna have the same big ties to the corporations that Ipsy and BoxyCharm do. So we're not gonna see as nice of quality products or as big of name brands. And I'm aware of that. That being said, I just don't feel like I can justify spending $20 on that when there's part of me that's like, I would rather like sign up and get a second Ipsy Plus or something, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, if I'm gonna spend $20, like wouldn't it just make sense to spend it where it's gonna be at a, you're gonna get a better bang for your buck. So that's how I'm feeling about it. Um, yeah, if that's mean, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to be realistic about it. If it's, ba it's Cause with shipping and everything, I got a deal on it when I signed up, I had like 40% off. And so that's why I did the year subscription. Basically it covered shipping cause they, they charge shipping and it's like $4 a month, $3 a month, something like that. So it was gonna be like, right. Like basically whatever shipping was, was what my coupon wound up being. I hate that. I, cause the one box I actually really liked, I like the palette. I like the idea of the magnetic lashes. I like the little lip thing. And then the other one, I just really feel like was an absolute mess for me. I'm gonna end it there. Tell me what you guys think. All right, I hope you guys all are staying safe, you're healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay good with the dark twist.